I love to eat. <laughs> a hit in my household. What do you guys think? Mm, mm, mm. Try this. So we just I created this Bombay yourself. grill. Quiet. Silence. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today I've got a special episode for you. So my son's back from his first year of college and we were just trying to figure out how to feed him again because it seems to me that he's moving into an apartment now. It's no longer dorm food. And remember last year, we taught him how to make eggs his way in five different concoctions, many of those kind of epitomizing what India stands for with andaburji and stuff like that, uh, masala omelet. Today, we're gonna do something special. What do you think we should cook up? I was thinking a Bombay grilled sandwich to ah, start. Yeah. Chai there you go. Side. Take a little bit of India with you there. I'm sure your roommates would be happy. By the way, did you ever get to cook for them? Not yet. Because the dorms didn't allow anything, right? <laughs> nope, not a thing. But did you ever get any Indian food there? Kurkure. Oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, well, let's start. A Bombay grilled sandwich has got to be the easiest sandwich you'll ever have. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nene, a US trained cardiac, thoracic, and vascular surgeon, and a general surgeon. As a healthcare, innovator and a health tech innovator, I want to empower you to your best health ever. On this channel, we will share evidence-based medicine from all of us to you through our experiences and training about health and healthcare. The goal is to help you make informed decisions about your own health as well as that of your loved ones. We're here for you, so don't hesitate to reach out. You start by basically boiling a couple of russet potatoes until they're soft. And while they're being created, you can make your uh, Indian mint chutney, which is actually a coriander and mint and garlic chutney with a little bit of salt and pepper. Very simple to make. And then it's just an assembly station, almost like you're at Subway. You can do that, right? Oh yeah. So why don't you start? I've got some regular white bread, but I actually like it on sourdough. And so next time we'll make it with sourdough. And so the first thing you're gonna do is slather some butter on this. Nothing like well-buttered bread, right? And so we use about a tablespoon, give or take. And the key is to put it around evenly, get everything where you need it. Then after that, you put a little bit of mint chutney on. And this becomes kind of the stickiness, kind of the cement that holds the bricks together. Next, get your potato, thinly slice. Now it's funny, in the US you'd probably use like grilled potato or something, right? Probably, yeah. Or go with sweet potato for a little Ooh, that would be extra interesting. Cake. What else could you do with this? Salsa instead of chutney. That would be interesting. Make it like a style. Mexican version of it. Yeah, that would be interesting. But I think the chutney takes a little bit of India with you, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, so you got that on. Next step, I think, is to put a little bit of chaat masala. And this is to taste. But chaat is something which... You got a lot of taste. Yeah, oh my God, it's full of flavor, right? So you got some of the staples of Indian cooking right there. Next, some tomatoes. And some onion. I don't know if this is gonna stay together, but it'd be interesting. And I think everyone who's ever lived in Bombay has had one of these at some point or another. Then some cucumber and You've got juicy, flavorful, real goodness with a little bit of tomato ketchup. Now you got all that and a little bit of salt and peppers in order. Not much though, because you get a lot of it from, from your uh, chaat masala. Sensational. It looks delicious, makes my mouth water, right? All this fresh goodness coming to you. Next step is we take a little bit of cheese and we'll need our grater for that. And I would say putting whatever type of cheese you like. What cheese do you prefer? Uh, you know, I'm lactose intolerant, so cheese and me don't get along. <laughs> but, but 
If I had to choose, I would use a mature cheddar because the thing about a mature cheddar is it has very little lactase or lactose in it. And so I can get by. And the problem is keeping it on the sandwich because it's stacked high, obviously. What do you think, guys? All right. Looks now, good. Now you got all this in and the key is keeping it together. Now, I think a lot of people would stack up more cheese. And to be honest, I wouldn't use a grater. I would just slice it. Maybe that's what we'll do. Because I think it stays on a little better. Like a grilled cheese almost. Like an Indian version of a grilled cheese, right? Oh my God. Yum. Oh yeah. Can never have too much, right? I guess not. A little bit on the side here. Yeah, good to go. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things you can do. You can put some oil and butter in and pan fry it, which is probably the easiest in a dorm setting. You gotta agree with that. Unless you got a panini grill, like this little jobber here. And so the idea is to take this thing and plop it on. Got it? I do. Awesome. It's looking good. All right. Now I'm gonna close that. And let's see here. Figure this one out. Vegetables, stuffed vegetables. I don't even know if it's on. Uh, grilled chicken. I think this will probably do it. And you know, hold it in place. And with the magic of cinema, we've already got that done. So we'll finish that off. Relatively speaking, a little bit of cheese, a little butter, okay. But it's got a lot of veggies too. So what a do you think, bit. five minutes up? All right, feast your eyes, Ard. I'm feasting my eyes. Wow, there you go, boss. Looking good. Perfect, right? Looks amazing. And you let it rest for just a little bit. I can toss it over here. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just watched you make this. But now you know. It's a knowledge transfer, right? Yes. You've taught me how to make a Bombay grilled sandwich. Grilled sandwich. And there you have it. Let's get our hello. guest taster in. Come on in, oh, guest hello. taster. Oh, guys. Oh, that looks I so know, good. I know, right? Did you cook it? Uh, ah, I totally. Ah, uh, no. All right. Come on now, tasters. Of course. I'm what do you think, guys? Mmm, yum. All right. I love eating. Do you want some? <laughs> no. All right, don't. try it. It's good. <laughs> I will try some of this yeah. amazing looking sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, mm. damn, that's actually good. Okay. Mm, God, really what does good. that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Really I'm not it good. You got a doubt? Mm. I don't know. I just know that if this was a surgery, it would be botched. Like, you know, like. I don't know about that. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. It's actually good. Mm. Um, I want these every day. This is really good. We just created this Bombay grilled sandwich. A hit in my household. What do you guys think? Mm, mm, mm. Try this. It's actually really tasty. Oh yeah. And these are the same ones you see on the street and people are eating and mm. uh, just loving it. It's and now so you know good. why. And so for the student palate, perfect. Cheap, easy, fast. Oh yeah.